welcome to Pitch of Kerala Pinchers. Good to see you all again and thanks for watching and uh, God bless you all. So today we are going to see make the sambar. It is a kind of um, the soup, you know, lentil soup. But it has a lot of spice. The main ingredients in it is the dal. So this one I already soaked. You know, soak for, you can soak it for two to four hours. This is pool dal. See here the navel. Dal. And you can make it with uh, chana dal, you know, so I got another one. So then other things you need is some vegetables, carrot, potato, and plantain. What do you call the char? Taro. Taro, you know, like a champ from back in Kerala. Yep. And the other things I have is the beads. This is an okra. Lady's finger, in another name. This is also frozen, you know, I got it from the freezer. This is eggplant, it's uh, actually fresh. And the other things you need is tomato, I cut it in cubes, and one onion, five cloves of garlic, curry leaves, and two green pepper. It's good to have all the ingredients, or you can have just this dal, and tomato, and uh, onion, or maybe one or two items, you can make some. So I'm gonna cook it in the, Pressure cooker. Pressure cooker. This is an Indian style. So first I'm going to put the down. I'm going to put it in the, you can see. Yep. You can add one by one. It doesn't matter, you know, which one you add first. Uh -huh. okay. Then the other things you're going to add is a little bit of spices. What I have is, is uh, one teaspoon of turmeric. No, you're, you're good, mommy. And the other thing is, um, this is a sambar powder. See, it gives a little flavor, you know. So I added that. This, this you can buy it in any Korean store or English store. So I have one and a half tablespoon of sambar powder, which I'm going to put it in the vegetable. And one teaspoon of turmeric, I already told you. And uh, one and a half tablespoon of salt. So I'm going to add it all we'll go on together. Yum. Uh -huh. So we're going to put the water, you know. It's water will help. Right. Okay. So I'm going to get the water. Got it. This is two cups. Okay. Two cups of water. We need more than two cups. At least we need like a five cups, you know, because the, all the vegetable has to be covered. So I'm going to cover it. I'm going to put it on the stove now. Okay. okay. Got it. Okay. Yep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show them how to cut the vegetables. Exciting. See, this is all this fresh that I left it for you to see. Mm -hmm. But this uh, tara is already cut. It was from the freezer. So, so this is the plant. And this is like, you know, we saved it in the refrigerator. It's almost like a three weeks. And two potatoes, you know, which I cut it already. Okra. Okra. Carrots. Carrots. I started cutting this uh, eggplant. eggplant. Chicken. It's already cut and washed, but I just left a piece. To show you. So what happens that when you cut it, what happens? You have to put it in the water. Otherwise, you know, it uh, the color discoloring. Okay, we cut it cubes. You know, it's nothing wrong. So it doesn't have to be perfect. No, perfect. You know, nothing wrong. You know, no right or wrong. So you know, it's easier. Yep. You make a circle. See. So now I'm going to cut carrot. So while mommy's cutting the carrot, if you have any questions, yeah, remember, yeah. put it in the comments so that we can answer them. If you have a question, someone else probably has the same well, question. Let me tell you, if you put your mind, nothing is hard. So, you know, again, just like in cubes. Small pieces. Nothing you right or wrong. Let's go for the potato. Okay. Yeah, mommy washed all the same thing potato, you know, you have to put water when you cut it. Otherwise they this color so bad. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little water for the just make sure. potato. Yep. Okay. Right. Same thing, you know, I cut it, I put yep. two potatoes in there. Yes. So this is a plantain. Mommy, this is for those who don't cook a lot, this is not a banana. This is not a banana, this is a plantain. Plantain. Big banana, banana chips. Banana chips, everybody. Yeah. See, you, you 
don't see anything in the water, right? See nothing in the water. Right. It's plain so, water. So I'm going to put uh, turmeric. turmeric. So mommy put turmeric on top. Now water. Ta-da! See the water? Okay. So mommy is... See? Ooh. All that stuff will come out. How much turmeric did you put in, Mommy? Oh, okay. Half teaspoon. That it's is a pick and pincher trick. Yep. Nice, Mommy. Yep. Okay. Powder. So this is uh, tempering. See, the tempering here, I use sure nothing changed. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, I use the white onion. That's for Jackie. Jackie. <laughs> and I want Jackie to get upset, you know, so we use that. And uh, three uh, whole uh, chili and a little bit of curry leaves. And uh, of course, you know, mustard and uh, cumin seed, a half teaspoon, and some garlic also, it will go with that. The sambar powder is an option. You've been in the one teaspoon, one teaspoon of chili powder. Uh -huh. So, you know, since I added the sambar powder, you know, I decreased the amount of chili. The amount of chili powder. powder. This is one teaspoon of uh, black pepper powder. Got it. Okay, that also, you know, you know, you don't want too much heat. And the other thing is uh, coriander powder, uh -huh. three tablespoons. And the other thing is is uh, fenugreek. So okay. fenugreek is one teaspoon. You know, I already fried and and powdered. Mm -hmm. And the other one is is asafoetida. Always give a little taste, asafoetida and the fenugreek for sambar. The most important thing is uh, tamarind. Tamarind concentrate. So I took two, one tablespoon, already I put it in here. And sometimes, you know, you may need a whole one tablespoon, maybe three, four, but you know, I'm gonna put a little bit of water and I'm gonna add it to it, uh -huh. but not all one tablespoon. Right. So you have to make the fenugreek powder. So this is a half, I don't think you need a half a cup, but you know, here we use a whole lot of uh, fenugreek. Yes. So I took like a half, half cup. This is what we're making, everybody. This is what we'll be, you know, I made this uh, afternoon. Again, if you don't need this much, it is a half a cup. Okay. Getting kind of uh, golden color, color nice. It's already golden, but mm -hmm. you don't want to get burned. So don't I'm going let to it burn. It. I'm going to stop it. Oh, and I'm going to put it there. Because I don't want that string in that. Oh. Is it okay cooking? All right. All right. All right. So I'm going to put it in there. Good pour. Mm -hmm. And again, you don't have to make this much, this, this much amount. You can make it like a half. Ta-da! See? Just go with the pickle. Oh, look at that. Pickle. Nice. Mm. Make all the masalas. We're making our masalas. Woo! Coconut nice. oil. Coconut oil. I'm melted, but you know what happens. You know, once it's cool. Ta-da! Uh, and you, like I said, that if you add a little bit more, you can. But uh, let's see. The hot you pan's more. melting it. See? Yeah. Liquid. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna add the, you know, what you know, pops. Boom. So I'm gonna add this. This kind of tempering, but we are adding all together. Okay. This time everything. Yeah. No, nothing separate. We are adding everything together. So the ginger and this. No, no ginger. ginger. No, you don't need the ginger. Yeah, no ginger in this. I don't know. If you like to, you can. I don't say why. Wait. Everybody doing good? Any questions? So now what we're going to do is we're going to add all the dry ingredients. Always make sure that it's low. Low okay. heat? Yeah, please. So right. I'm going to add the um, fenugreek powder. Okay. okay. That's a fatida. That's fatida. Okay. Then the other all, you know, the coriander powder, pepper, Mm -hmm. Black pepper and um, chili powder. Chili powder and the turmeric and yep. add all at the same Boom. time. Now again, this is the tempering and masala making together. I'm gonna Maybe put the water. It's a cold water. Cold water, everybody. This is what mommy's doing. She's cooling it down. Cooling it down. So it's ready to open. You hear? You hear nothing. Yeah. So we are going to take it back then. Right? Use proper pressure cooker safety. Nothing, nothing. Hold on, I'll get you the picture, Pinchers. I'll do it for you. Yum. So you can, you know, smash it a little bit. Okay. 
Okay. So now we can add. So mommy's taking spice. the masala, guys. Yeah. Sorry, let me add. zoom out. You want to add the masala? You can see. Yes. Mixy mixy. See how it got that nice brown color now. Brown color now. Why do you mush it, mommy? Yeah, you know, it get a little thicker. Oh, yeah. let's see. She mixed it and added water. I have one tablespoon. Yeah, you know, because it's, it's looser. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is one tablespoon of tamarind, and I added okay. one tablespoon. So I'm going to add, you know, like a half. Remember I said? So uh, let's see what happens. Then once it boils, and we may you know, add a little bit more. For taste. I'm going to add a little bit more. More tamarind? Tamarind. Yeah. Is that because of taste? But to add the taste. Okay. So, mommy, you suggest adding a little by little. Little by little. And now one and a half. So, I'm gonna, this is a quarter teaspoon. Okay. So, I'm going to add a little bit more. So, add and a, a and half. And adding salt is totally up to you. Okay. Some people cannot eat so much salt. Yep. So, we turn this off, everybody. Turn it off. Turn it off. I'm going to put it on a ball and throw. See that? Yum. Yeah. And the more it sits, it gets thicker. How thick it is, get it? Yep, it's thicker. All right. All right, thanks for watching. Love you all.